guys, hope you're all doing well. Well, this is video three of the lockdown with Mr. Plough. Uh, coming to you from up north on our family farm. So I've been giving Jay a hand around the farm um, lately, just doing the main tracks with the, um, sorry, the main tracks, the main, um, what do you say, the paddocks with gorse. Um, just clearing them off so the um, animals can graze a bit nicer and there's a bit more room for them because there's a lot of gorse. I mean, you'll see in this video how much we've been ploughing out and been spraying. So that's been really good. Uh, yesterday we went out and carved some new tracks with Gary and Jay. It was wicked. Got some good little spots, some access tracks over to the uh, forestry block, which is mint. Uh, this place is pretty big. There's a lot of opportunity here. So uh, keep an eye out. Video 4 is going to show you all some of the uh, new tracks we've been making. Well, today it's a little bit greyer weather. It just rained, so I'm going to go for a bit of a hack, eh? Because, oh, fresh mud. Always good. Always. As you can see, we've actually moved camp spots too. So I'll, uh, I'll give you a bit of a tour in the uh, episode as well. Awesome, guys. Hope you're staying safe and staying well. Enjoy. So, Jay, where are we off to today? Uh, we're going to go plough some gorse, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, we just had a comment that uh, we look like we're the um, team for ploughing gorse. And now we're a combo. We're going to take on all that down there. We'll see it shortly. Um, but we had a comment that we need to spray it afterwards. Are we going to put a little sprayer in the back? Yeah, I reckon we should. Yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll do that after we've ploughed some gorse first for the truck set. <laughs> Morning guys, you gonna help us play some gorse or show us the tracks? Big stubborn ones today, they're still going down. Save the front of the truck, use the back. Oh, I went up a bit line up there. Get back up and get that guy. That's a big one. One more. And round. Little highlights cloud. Holy! There's some big trees in there. And we have the little Hilux stuck in a gorse plant bigger than she is. Plow to the rescue. <laughs> well, with the big trees, it was inevitable. This glass has lasted a long time. The other one was gone a long time ago. Nice, at least it's safety glass. We'll clean it up. Keep it out of all the paddocks. Oh, look at it. Just taking it out. It looks so much cleaner like that. Getting into the bush over here. Whoops, I found a hole. Tied up the ground. Back of the safaris in the ditch. Must be a deep hole in there. <laughs> Winch off little sister Hilux. She'd be right. Look at the flicks! Not bad for 80 series calls and two inch shocks. Pretty sure I could put two inch shocks in there and get uh, get them a lift. 80 series front calls give it about two to two and a half inch lift from the front of a safari. A little food for thought. That's all she's got. Manta. We have been quite busy today. Cleared out the gist of that paddock. There you guys go quickly. And then this one, as you can see, the amount of gorse caught up in my windscreen. Yeah, the windscreen wipers don't work, so uh, you know, it'll just sit there for a while. Plowing down the side of this hill. Just back and through it. Oh yeah. I'll give you guys a little demo just now. Early in the day, this one's been missing for a long time. Yes, yeah, so we're getting a bit of a gorse in here. Let's just check. Oh, filled up here. <laughs> the whole lot's filled up. It's like it's been in a barn for years. Blowing. That guy's gone down. He's gone down now. We've got 
someone taking on the plow this morning. He's pretty big. He's pretty big. But is he gonna? No, that's right. Thought so. You turn and run, son. You turn and run. Maybe when he gets back to his mate, he might think twice and go, that's right, there's two of us now. Now. Today in Gary's shed, we got his own little hacker on the stand here. His little farm hack Suzuki workhorse. This goes and collects all the firewood around the farm and any odd jobs that need doing. Track the tires for all the grip. As you can see, it's having an opposite moment of the safari. It's going, I can't decide which way I'm going to go, in or out. So, it actually blown the front diff in here. So, Gary being the master mechanic that he is, he's pulled it out. And we're going to chuck a little bit of weld in here. Look at this tiny little diff. Ah, oh, it's so cute. There's a hammer. There's a comparison. You can see. It's tiny. So, previously, there was a bit of weld over here he's done. But it's actually broken inside here. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna work some magic on it and weld, yeah, further in around here once he cleans it out, grinds it out and gets it diagnosed. Then she'll be out ready for firewood collection and a bit of hacking. This thing's pretty mint, so light. I haven't actually seen it going yet, but Gazza said it's definitely a beast to watch out for. Gazza. Bear Where's time, bruv. It is Friday. <laughs> Got plenty of horsepower in this shed. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give a hand with the Suzuki. What do you guys think about it? Any good? We have some locals waiting at our gates. Hmm, what to do with them? Well, in the density. So you can see where we've mowed down the gorse. The horses are already in there, loving the fresh grass. This is good, just goes to show that once this all gets cleared out, and properly sprayed and taken care of, the um, animals can enjoy it a bit more. And as we all know, the grass makes the farming world go around. Hey buddy, yeah, you want more grass? Yeah. Just here with old mate this morning. Just wanted to greet you guys and say, really appreciates everybody coming down and blowing this course out of his way so we can uh, enjoy this beautiful area that we've got. And his other two mates are already taking on the fresh grass. Blow the course, they say, blow the course. So as you can see, we've definitely caused some uh, devastation to the plough, to the gorse. Saving the nice trees, of course, good look after these native guys. We're up to about there, and we found a bog at the bottom. Yep. We've cracked the surface, and she's deep. See the mate that we saved? Get a winch off him. Ah, look at this. Winter. Got our solid tree sorted, soft shackle, rope to the PDO. Let's plough out.
a bit of fun in the bomb. I think we've gone in a bit deep, guys. It's such a bit serious. Trying to get out. Oh yeah, this is uh, a little bit of a dig there. Ooh. We're gonna have to bash our way out. And Mr. Plough is part of the farm for the horses now as well. You want some windstroke, buddy? Oh, maybe a light bar. Oh, windscreen wiper. No light bar. <laughs> no. Here's a good angle. You can see how much has been taken down. Look at how much it opens up the paddock. Mighty Suzuki taking on the sharp angles. Oh, Gezzy picking the line. Oh, he's down. Sending it. <laughs> it's like a mountain goat that no one really wants on their farm. The powerhouse. Toot toot, Gary's coming through. Oh, she's just about <laughs> Oh, listen to it sing. So after a big hard day ploughing today, took some big gorse on, as you see in the previous clips. Had a bit of an issue. Now, you safari guys will know, these engine mounts are something to be discussed. Not really ideal when you get in a bit of a tight spot and you have to give it a bit of gas. They just lift up and rip out completely like that. Now this one's actually stepped over. So Gaz has got a mean idea. We're going to try and sort, make that a bit more solidly mounted. But what's happened is actually cut a hole in the pipe because the pulley has lifted up. Because the engine has basically torqued up like that, come up on the radiator pipe and hit the um, hit that and get yeah, that leak. You can smell the um, coolant coming out. So yeah, it was good to notice straight away, and that way we turned it off, it shouldn't get hotter at all. But not ideal, because that one's ripped, and the other side's definitely not ideal as well. Yeah. I think to get uh, another beer and um, some thoughts and some action, and I might come up with some ideas. Why did Richie make it work for me again? Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know oh, I saw the shed was empty, man. I thought it meant I could just come in. <laughs> any time, mate, any time. <laughs> what remains of the back window? And Zeta Froda holding it together. This is our little friend Baby Cow. This little boy cow is getting his horn going. <laughs> He's so cute. He loves the attention. Hey, buddy. Oh, so cool. It's so nice to be able to get up and close and personal with animals like this and get sort of a, a bit more of a close feel. Obviously most animals that aren't used to humans and stuff like this. This guy since he was born, he's been nurtured by Jay. Uh, hey baby cow! Here comes, here comes Jay. The farm lady. Yeah. There's mama. Hey mama. He knows. There's mama. Here in the development shed with Gazza. Ooh, a lot of nuts on, just setting up the jigs for some custom GQ parts. Ooh, oh, what do we got uh, heading up your sleeve there, Gary? It's a bit of a big sleeve. You got some uh, tricky parts? 
Mate, to your knowledge, this piece of shit truck test vehicle, uh, we can make anything. Ooh. GQ parts, here we come. So after a week and a half up in the paddock area, with some fantastic views and a nice area to camp really, uh, we thought, well, we've got a lot of time in lockdown, we need to make a bit of a change. And the bush block, oh, it's just fantastic down there. A few spots need clearing, but we managed to find a spot we can make work for now. We're on the move. Our new home. Don't fuck with the Hilux. Back up on him. A small bit of clearing required on the site, and then we were ready to go. Mr. Plough was uh, up getting her engine mount sorted, so we had to use the big girl. Support truck to the rescue. So guys, here's Gaz's truck. Very, very tidy. Champagne shore base safari. So he's got four inch suspension in here. Tough dog. Got the hydraulic bump stops inside the coils. Very nice setup. Strengthened top mounts. He's got two inch body in here as well. So six inch in total on 35s, all certified. Actually sits very nicely for the height and the size of the vehicle. You look at that, the tyres are a little bit low at the front at the moment, but that sits perfectly. It's got a little winch up front, nice and reliable, keeps it nice and tucked in close. Gary's had this for a long time. Very tidy wagon. Dailies it all the time. As you saw before, cheeky little exhaust on the back there. I love the little top hat. Solid recovery point, nice and safe. Gusseted diffs as well. This cage is definitely something to be admired. It isn't just on the sides, it's on the top too. Properly made, like this is a proper external cage. As you can see, all nicely jointed. So if ever in the case Gary you to take it off, can easily remove it as well. That's what you want, a proper cage built so it can be removed. If you ever need to do some work on the body or simply touch with the cage, you can. He's got his Maxxis radial tripodors on there moment, but he's also got a set of sillies. Best for every situation. Oh, hopefully the next hour or so we're gonna see this thing out in action. Gaz is just waiting to get it out. Go the Lux! 